Good evening. Today's devotional for Our High Calling for March 20th is entitled, Give No Place to Temptation. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and His children shall have a place of refuge. Proverbs 14 verse 26. God requires that we confess our sins and humble our hearts before Him. But at the same time, we should have confidence in Him as a tender Father who will not forsake those who put their trust in Him. We do not realize how many of us walk by sight and not by faith. We believe the things that are seen but do not appreciate the precious promises given us in His Word. And yet we cannot dishonor God more decidedly than by showing that we distrust what He says. Do not for a moment acknowledge Satan's temptations as being in harmony with your own mind. Turn from them as you would from the adversary himself. Satan's work is to discourage the soul. Christ's work is to inspire the heart with faith and hope. Satan seeks to unsettle our confidence. He tells us that our hopes are built upon false premises rather than upon the sure, immutable word of him who cannot lie. When he, Satan, suggests doubts as to whether we are really the people of whom God is leading, whom by tests and provings he is preparing to stand in the great day, be ready to meet his insinuations by presenting the clear evidence from the word of God that this is the remnant people who are keeping the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Let us trust fully, humbly, unselfishly in God. We are his little children and thus he deals with us. When we draw near to him, he mercifully preserves us from the assaults of the enemy. Never will he betray one who trusts in him as a child trusts in his parents. He sees the humble, trusting souls drawing near to him, and in pity and love he draws near to them and lifts up for them a standard against the enemy. Touch them not, he says, for they are mine. I have graven them upon the palms of my hands. He teaches them to exercise unquestioning faith in his power to work in their behalf. With assurance, they say, This is the victory that overcometh the world, even our faith. 1 John 5 verse 4 May God continue to bless us today as we grow in Him.